We are pleased now to be joined by Dr. Indu Lu, who is Senior Vice President and Chief Pharmacy Officer for RWJ Barnabas Health, one of the underwriters of the work that we do in healthcare. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. Thank you, Steve, for this wonderful opportunity. I really appreciate it. You got it. And listen, this series, doctor, all about trying to deal with awareness and understanding of things. So we'll stay away from distribution. That's a different discussion. Um, let me ask you this. A bunch of questions that I'm sure you get asked a lot. I'm going to throw some at you. <coughs> there are this confusion, um, by the way, a great article, CNN article, if your loved one is hesitant to get the vaccine, share this. Question, right out of the box. Some people were asking, um, what's in the vaccine? Does that depend upon which vaccine, doctor? So right now we have two vaccines on the market. We have the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine. These are messenger RNA vaccines. Very soon on the horizon, we'll have a third vaccine on the market, and this is the J&J &J vaccine. And ultimately, any one of these vaccines, their ultimate job is really to teach your body to make a spiked protein. This is not the dangerous part of a virus. Teach your body to make the spike protein so your body recognizes it it will be able to produce an immune response. So in, in fact, if you come in contact with the virus, your body already has the defense mechanisms to fight it. So that's the ultimate goal of any one of these vaccines. Just how that spiked protein gets into your body is just a little bit different, but that's the end goal. You know what, our, our, our great producers are throwing questions up in our chat. Uh, when you actually get the vaccine, you're being injected with COVID. P some believe that. Deal with that, doctor. Thank you, team. Yeah, so you are not being injected with COVID at all. Essentially, what you're doing when you get the messenger RNA vaccine, so this is your Pfizer and your Moderna vaccine, essentially what you're being injected with is a recipe for your body to make the spiked protein so you can fight the infection. The way that it works with the J and J vaccine, this is a different. It's this is not a, a new technology. It's actually been around for a while. So this is an adeno virus, uh, adeno vector of virus vaccine. So essentially, please tell us what that means. So essentially, think about it as a Trojan horse, right? So you are having this adenovirus, and that's a very common virus and a harmless virus like your common cold. It has a gene material on how to make the spike protein. So it's injected into your body. It is it's the harmless part. It's modified by J&J. &J. So you are not being injected with a live um, COVID vaccine <clears throat> virus at all. Um, a f real quick on this. Can you do the pregnancy issue? If, if a woman is pregnant, should she, when eligible, get the vaccine? So that's a great question. And I know there's been a lot in the news rate lately about pregnancy and can you get the vaccine? So according to the ACIP, which is the Advisory uh, Committee on Immunization Practices and the CDC, if someone is pregnant or breastfeeding, they should have a conversation with their okay. physician in order to get the vaccine. It is not a contraindication right now, but that is a discussion that has to happen between the patient and their physician. Slightly and different, I'm sorry for interrupting. By the way, taping on the 2nd of February being seen later, I don't believe these answers will change unless there's dramatically new information, but we have friends who have daughters who they're stopping from getting the vaccine because they're saying, hey, wait a minute, we want she wants to have a child down the Question, correlation between the vaccine, a 23-year-old woman who wants to get pregnant at some point down the road, issue? So right now, there, there is no issue. These vaccines are safe and effective. They are not incorporated into your genomic DNA process right now. So, and we that's know that, that that has nothing to do. That, it's a different, it, that's not at all how these vaccines work. And what's really critical is we know that if you're pregnant and you happen to get COVID, it, it's a very, very dangerous situation. So we need to ensure that people okay. are protected against getting this virus. We happen to know by talking to um, uh, Barry Ostrowski, your CEO, we talked a lot about this uh, initiative around fighting racism, okay? Connect it to the vaccine in this way. Um, 
a significant number of African Americans and Latinos, but primarily African Americans, distrustful of this vaccine. Too fast, right? Uh, warp speed. The Tuskegee Institute uh, experiment speaks for itself. People can check it out. Do you believe the skepticism is warranted, particularly in the African American community around the vaccine? Well, it's decades and decades of mistrust, and we have to address that and we have to acknowledge it. But with these vaccines, the FDA will not sacrifice safety for speed. They won't. These vaccines are safe and they are effective, and we know what the effectiveness rate is. I think a lot what we have to do is really focused on education. The, the fact that these vaccines are safe and effective, the fact that there are certain communities that were hit extraordinarily hard and we, they need to be protected. So I think it's a partnership, um, education, trust, in order to overcome vaccine hesitancy. One more, one more, I got a minute left. <clears throat> the variants, again, uh, check out NJ uh, Spotlight News, Metro Focus on a daily basis for what's changing there. But the vaccine, by the way, I'm seeing a dozen questions from our producers, sorry, we only have a few seconds left. Um, the variants, do you believe it will require a booster even if you get two shots of Moderna and Pfizer or one shot of Johnson Johnson when it's on the market? Go ahead. So right now, these um, the vaccines do cover the variants um, for a, a lesser effectiveness. They're in, we know with Moderna, they're testing right now if we do need to get a booster vaccine. Right now, it's too early to tell, but what I can tell you, with these variants coming, and there will be more variants, it is that much more critical that we ensure that people are vaccinated as fast as we can. That has been consistently communicated from every expert in the medical community we've spoken to. That's important. Dr. Indu Lu, Senior Vice President and Chief Pharmacy Officer, RWJ Barnabas Health. Thank you so much, not only for being with us, but for the work that you and your colleagues on the front lines are doing every day. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Steve. Have a wonderful day. You too. I'm Steve Adubato. We cannot thank you so much uh, enough for, for joining us. Thank you. And just make sure you keep monitoring our website for more information and check out the CDC as well. I'm Steve Adubato. See you next time.